How's it going everyone? Of course, open world games continue to be one of the most popular genres in all of gaming, and that's not gonna change in the near future. And in this video, I wanna highlight seven upcoming open world games that you can play very soon. Now, all of these games are going to be released within the next month. So you're going to be able to play these games very, very soon. And it should very much give you an idea that open world games are still very much a fixture in today's gaming landscape. This is just going to be on PlayStation 4 and 5, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. And let's start things off with, without a doubt, the biggest open world game that's coming up here. Quite possibly the biggest game of the year, Hogwarts Legacy. This is a game with a colossal amount of hype and anticipation, really to the level that it surprises even me. And I feel like usually I have my finger on the pulse of... Of what games people are really excited for and I knew that Hogwarts Legacy was gonna be a major title did I expect it to be this hotly anticipated to the point where it's the best-selling game on Steam that it's the best-selling game on the PlayStation Store weeks ahead of release and let me tell you guys that says a lot and usually is a good indicator of how well a game is gonna sell sometimes I do get a little bit worried when a game has the level of hype and anticipation that a Hogwarts Legacy does have because sometimes it's hard to live up to to expectations to that degree even if it's a really good game but what we've seen out of Hogwarts Legacy has looked remarkable an immersive open world action RPG now you can take control of the action and be at the center of your own adventure in the wizarding world of course you'll be able to explore a vast open world with a sizable amount of content it's already been noted 35 hours for just the main story if you're a completionist and you're looking to do everything you're looking at a 70 hour experience give or take a couple hours it's an open world action RPG set in a world first introduced by the books, embark on a journey through familiar and new locations as you explore and discover magical beasts, customize your characters and craft potions, master spellcasting, upgrade talents, and become the wizard you want to be. Experience Hogwarts in the 1800s. Your character is a student who holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. Make allies, battle dark wizards, and ultimately decide the fate of the wizarding world. Your legacy is what you make of it. Live the unwritten now. There are some things to be noted. The game is going to be released on February the 10th on next-gen platforms, PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series. The current gen or last-gen version, however you want to describe it, won't be released until April. It should also be noted that the Deluxe Edition of the game, which is priced $10 higher, base game is $70, Deluxe Edition is $80, $80 will get you some in-game items, but possibly more importantly, 72 hours early access to the game. I'm not a big fan of this gimmick. It's something we've been seeing in games more often and really when you talk about quote-unquote 72 hour early access what it really means is they're looking for that additional ten dollars from you and they're locking the game away from people that dare to pay only seventy dollars for another three days that's really what's going on by the time February 7th rolls around they can unlock this game for everybody and everybody can start playing it that wouldn't be a major issue not a big fan of that but the game itself looks remarkable and I don't think people are gonna have uh, too big of an issue parting away with eighty dollars to play Hogwarts Legacy 72 hours early. Alternatively, if you want to spend 70 on the PS5 version, it will be dropping February 10th again, February 7th, for those of you buying the Digital Deluxe Edition. Next up, a game that is slowly creeping up in buzz and anticipation, we've got Atomic Heart. This is a sci-fi first-person shooter with some really cool thematics. In a mad and sublime utopian world, take part in explosive encounters, adapt your fighting style to each opponent, use your environment, and upgrade your equipment to fulfill your mission. If you want to reach the truth, you'll have to pay for it in blood. I think a lot of people didn't even know that this was going to be an open-world experience. Now, there's going to be times where you go into these dungeons and whatnot, but overall, the game is set in an open Open world performance wise on next gen platforms it looks like it's gonna run really well and it notes welcome to a utopian world of wonders and perfection in which humans live in harmony with their loyal and fervent robots well that's how it used to be with the launch of the latest robot control system mere days away only a tragic accident or a global conspiracy could disrupt it the unstoppable course of technology along with secret experiments have brought rise to mutant creatures terrifying machines and superpowered robots all suddenly rebelling against their creators only you can stop them and find out what lies behind the idealized world looks like it's gonna have an emphasis on its narrative looks like some fast-paced visceral gameplay to say the least so 
you know, maybe tuck away the kids for this one. And uh, if you're a fan of first person bloody titles, this might be one that's going to be right up your alley. A utopian world, both mad and sublime, visceral, spectacular, and unforgiving combat. Giant machines and mutants using your multiple skills and advanced weapons will be leading to your success and upgrade your arsenal and equipment throughout the game. Atomic Heart will be releasing on February the 20th. Next up, a notable title that's been in development for a little bit, saw a couple delays, but is scheduled for release in just a few short days. We have Square Enix and Luminous Productions' is Forspoken. Forspoken is a game that already has a demo available on the PlayStation 5, and I highly suggest you check out that demo because it's going to give you a good idea of what to expect out of the game because this is a game that has some very, very unique gameplay elements, and I think some people are going to really gravitate towards other people, might not like it as much. Obviously, from a technical standpoint, this game has some incredible visual effects, especially when you see the magical abilities in action. Those abilities look tremendous. It looks like it's going to have an emphasis on its narrative as well. I know that there has been some discussion about the performance and whatnot. If you play the demo, even the performance mode, it's going to target 60 frames per second, but when there's a lot going on on screen, it will definitely dip down in a frame rate. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but obviously some of you guys might even go the quality route and play the game at a higher resolution. It's going to have quite a bit of content as well. This is another game that's going to be a sizable undertaking if you are looking to do everything. Forspoken is scheduled for release on January 24th. Next up, here's a bit of a throwback, but getting an updated release on PlayStation 4, we have Risen. Risen is a game that released all the way back in 2009, but now it's getting an updated release on PS4. It's a classic RPG that has been received pretty well, but back in the day, you know, it did definitely need some updates on consoles especially, but now we have that updated release. The Volcanic Island is being terrorized by monstrous creatures, wield sword, staff, and over 20 spells to defend the land and shape its ultimate fate with no loading screens for a seamless open world. RPG. It's a cult RPG that follows the game design direction of the early gothic titles, and it'll finally be running smooth and in its full quality on console platforms. Delve into the gritty, atmospheric world of Risen, where every action has a consequence. Master the sword, learn the art of staff fighting, or become a powerful mage, forging your path across a land filled with mysterious earthquakes, fearsome monsters, and unimaginable treasures. Explore the mysterious volcanic island and the heavy tremors which bode ill for the inhabitants, and ancient temples have risen from the ground, and they are bringing with them bizarre creatures that terrorize the area. Are you brave enough to face the dangers? Find yourself caught amidst rebellion, tyranny, and mystic rituals. It's up to you to decide which way the pendulum of fate will swing. A lot of content expected in this one as well, and Risen, a classic, will be dropping on PlayStation 4 on January the 24th. Next up, here's a game that's really going under the radar, and that is Season A Letter to the Future. Super slick art style, a creative and unique art style with this one as well. The game notes, leave home for the first time to collect memories before a mysterious cataclysm washes everything away. Ride, record, meet people, and unravel the strange world around you. Immerse yourself in the world of Season, a third-person atmospheric adventure bicycle road trip game. Definitely gonna be more of an exploration-driven, relaxing title. It focuses on exploring, recording, meeting people, and unraveling the strange world around you. Each recording tool captures a different layer, sounds and music, art and architecture, the stories of characters living through pivotal moments. Your tools peel back these layers until you grasp the culture, history, and ecology underneath everything. This quest leads you to the big question, what is this season, why is it ending, and what will the next season bring? Pretty interesting title, Season of Letter to the Future, will be dropping on January 31st. Next up, here's a game where the base game is already available, but it is getting a free expansion. We have Jet the Far Shore and the Given Time expansion, which will be dropping at the end of this month. Now, this is also a game that just got added to PlayStation Plus Extra, so that's pretty notable if you do want to play that game and you have the subscription service, but I would recommend you to wait until the end of the month, wait for the additional content to roll out. However, it is post-game content, so if you want to play through the main game right now, that is an option open to you as well. The 2021 campaign, The Far Shore, You'll step into the snug space boots of May and explore a richly imagined new universe from Super Brothers. Be the first to deploy on a mythic ocean planet, take the helm of Jet and explore a vast unknown, skim lower over waves, roar up pristine coastlines, and carve through otherworldly woods, soak in an ocean music and 3D sound with a breathtaking score, adapt to an intricate systemic open world and preserve through adversity, alongside an intimate ensemble cast in the story of courage, wonder, and regret. The new Given Time expansion will be a free download and it'll take place three years after the main game, Jet the Far Shore, is a game, again, you can check out with PlayStation Plus Extra, and it is scheduled to get this free expansion by the end of the month. And lastly, do want to 
also give a mention for those of you picking up PlayStation VR 2, an MMORPG, an open world one at that, Zenith The Last City will be dropping on PSVR 2. Now, this is a game available on regular VR. It will be getting a free upgrade to VR 2 if you are picking up the headset. I know some people, myself included, uh, potentially, are just priced out of getting VR 2 right now. I am still on the fence on whether or not I'm going to get the headset, but I enjoyed my time with the original PlayStation VR, and at some point, I am going to be getting the headset. They do have a roster of launch titles that are incredibly compelling, and Zenith The Last City is one of them. Fight, craft, explore, and lose yourself in a massively multiplayer world built for VR. Forge alliances and friendships and guilds and parties. Join epic raids and world events and blaze your own path. How will you use your power? The game has seen a very positive reception as far as its original release. Now, it's going to get even better on VR 2, and it'll be a launch title for the platform come February 22nd. And that is going to be doing it for me again. A lot of open world games, and again, these are all out within the next month, so you're going to be able to play all of these games very soon. Bear in mind that open world games are vast, lengthy experiences, so the ability to go through seven open world games in the span of a month, probably not going to happen. You'd be lucky if you could 100% just Hogwarts Legacy, and maybe you could get Forspoken in there as well, but a lot of titles to pick up within the next month if you're a fan of exploring open worlds. That's going to do it for me. Let us know which open world games you're exciting for coming up in the next month or so. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.